Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can use a UV free unit instances inside MI Rack because this is one of the new functionality which has been recently added to the app. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and have the opportunity to own a copy of this new fantastic feature, please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Okay, so we are in standalone mode for MI Rack as you need to be in terms of hosting a UV free unit instances. I would uh, start saying that um, these uh, um, set of features in terms of hosting different type of uh, a UV free unit instances is still uh, progressing and is getting better and better. So you will see a lot of more releases that are coming, which will improve um, the functionality of uh, a UV free support. And uh, why not? Sometimes it's uh, actually amazing to create things with MI Rack, but sometimes you would like also to use, for example, something already pre prepared, like. Um, and a UV free. So it's great that we have this possibility now. So let's have a quick demonstration. So let's go to new from template and we don't save and we click on generator. So we have uh, a new template with just these audio output module. So let's double click and uh, you can see here on the left hand side, we have a UV free hosting. So click on it and you have two modules. So the first one is uh, allows to incorporate a UV free plugins into a patch. It is two audio channels and 12 CV inputs. And the second one has 16 audio channels and 20 CV inputs. So they're the same, but the second one, of course, has more uh, um, inputs and outputs. So let's go for the, the first one and double click. And as you can see, we have now included it inside MI rack. So Let's click here where it says no AU and you have access to none. So no audio unit, instrument type of audio unit, effect and also MIDI effects. So let's click on instrument and let's select ISDIM. Okay, next, let's keep it simple for this first uh, tutorial. So we go to essential and we double click on a 12 key. Okay, so we connect the CV to the V oct here and then the gate to go to the corresponding gate and then we take the output here for the um from the auv3 unit or host and connect it to this audio output now if we click on the keys so you're going to hear um isim hosted inside this auv3 uh, module and it is as simple as that in terms of actually um, adding an AUV free instance. So let's um, uh, have a little bit more fun. Let's go back to AUV free hosting and let's select the big host. As you can see, more inputs and more outputs. Now let's select this time instead of an instrument, let's select an effect. And let's go for audio kit rack reverb. So let's redirect the output to take the output here from this big host, like so. Now let's redirect the output of uh, ISIM, which is hosted as an AUV free, into the input here of the second um, AUV free um, unit, which is an effect. Okay. And in so doing, we still trigger the um the ISIM um unit uh, through the 12 key through the cv and gate uh, uh, signals but then the output of ISIM is going into this rack reverb which then is going out directly to the audio output and if i click now on the 12 keys And of course, you can continue like so. You can add other modules and uh, why not? Let's try again. Let's choose, um, for example, another um, effect and um, let's uh, scroll down. Uh, let's go, um, for example, for Gong. 
and we are going to take the output directly uh, like so from gong then we are taking the um the output here and we put it in the input of gong so that we have a cascading um effect we go to the uh, reverb and then we go to gong or you can do the opposite but that's the beauty of using of course a uv3 inside my rack you can config configure them as you like and of course you can click on the symbol here and you can open the instance of that uh, audio unit and then of course you can change uh, uh, preset like in this example you click on down to exit Let's go for uh, um, something else. So let's add some uh, additional chain, like so. And perhaps we could also reverse, for example, the order to obtain a different effect. But as you can see, there's a, a lot of possibilities. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Just a quick tutorial to show you that now you can host a UV3 inside a Mirac. And I'm going to create another tutorial very shortly, which is going to show you a little bit more how you can use MIDI effect alongside MIDI sequencer, which is a little bit more involved as a, as a tutorial. So I'm going to create a separate video for that. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.